Hey, how you doing today? My name is Rillian. Thank you so much for stopping by. Today, we are going to check out an interview with Jeff Keighley, who knows a lot about gaming industry stuff. This was done on May 30th. This was posted, and this is ahead of Summer Game Fest. And he was asked, do you know what's happening with Silk Song? So let's jump right in and hear what he has to say. I do. I, we've been talking to them. Uh, I don't know exactly, you know, uh, what's what, but I think I think they were actually hit hit pretty hard by the pandemic. Um, it's a small team and stuff like that. And so they've been taking their time. But yeah, we check in with all these teams all the time. So I don't, you know, I say I, we've talked to them. I don't know exactly what the state of the game is or where they're at, things like that. But yeah, we're. I would love to showcase that game when they are when they are are ready. They did a they did like an edge cover. It was like a year or two ago, and then didn't really put any more out on it. So I don't know where they're at on that. But uh, yeah, we've certainly talked to those guys. And Team Cherry is a, a great studio, and uh, we'd love to work with them at some point. Okay, so let's go ahead and break this down just a little bit because he kind of went back and forth between making it sounds like he knows what's going on and he doesn't know what's going on. I don't know exactly, you know, uh, what's what, but I think I think they were actually hit hit pretty hard by the pandemic. I didn't think that would be the case for a couple of reasons. One, they're a very, very small indie team, right? There's only two of them. They did have offices. I want to say off, they had a office. And that said, Mossbag had something to say about this, where it says, uh, left talking about how the lockdowns might have affected Silk Song. Did I mention to you guys that we're all working from home due to the COVID lockdowns too? Part of why things are slowed down a bit. Plus, Will became a dad. If I had to guess anything, this would have been the biggest slowdown for Team Cherry is that Will became a dad. Because if there was any sort of slowdown, having only two people have to relocate and work from home is going to affect them far less than, let's say, Nintendo developing a game and having tens, twenties, fifties of people. You can have fifties of people, right? Remember, both of these statements took place back in 2020. So this is early pandemic. So I, I take that with a grain of salt. But Leth was asked, how far has the pandemic impacted development? And Leth replied, I assume that William becoming a dad was a bigger impact, but just my own speculation. If they are slowed down, it's still very productive for an indie team. So that's kind of my take on it. I don't think that Silk Song was super slowed down due to uh, the, the pandemic and everything happening. It's probably Will having a child whether or not the child's sleeping or not and and whether or not they had like their own family stuff going who knows we we have no idea we we won't know about that you gotta remember they've really only been developing the game for what three ish years now like since the the full end full stop end of hollow knight so i think we got to give them a little bit of grace i don't think that the i still personally i still think the game is coming out towards the end of this year 2022 or early 2023 um uh, but also i want to i want to listen to jeff a little bit more um it's a small team and stuff like that and so they've been taking their time but yeah we check in with all these teams all the time so i don't we check know, in with all these say, teams I, all the time them. i don't know exactly what the state of the game is or where they're at things like that but yeah we're in, I... so maybe maybe we talk to them as in like they just have a chat of like hey how are things going and not like hey how far into development are you you know it, it could be just like they check in you know i would love to showcase that game when they are when they are are ready they did a they did like an edge cover it was like a year or two ago and then didn't really put any more out on it so i don't know see he talks about how they put out an edge cover a year or two ago and then haven't talked any more about it so i think that's almost like his way of saying like yo they're not saying anything so i can't say anything that's kind of the the vibe i'm getting i could be completely wrong though but maybe he just literally doesn't know anything or he's not talking to them as often as we makes it out to seem where they're at on that but uh yeah we've certainly talked to those guys and team cherry is a, a great studio and uh we'd love to work with them at some point so what did we learn from this i personally think that we didn't learn a whole lot other than i'm gonna speculate saying we're not gonna get any information at the summer game fest it seems like it's very tight-lipped buttoned up and Jeff really wants to work with Team Cherry once they decide to put out any information. But it sounds like, yo, they haven't put out anything since one or two years ago. And so now it's probably, it, it sounds like the team's just not ready. I don't think we're getting anything soon. I, I really don't. So like I said, I'm thinking end of 2022, early 2023. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Does this mean anything? Thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you so much to my members. I appreciate you. And thank you so much for watching to the end. My name's Aurelia, and I'll talk to you again more real soon. Thanks. Bye.